One of the athletes that I was on the football team with and the hockey team, uh, he was already officiating because his dad was in the official association. And uh, I decided to do it, a couple of bucks. And uh, once I got into it, it wasn't the money. You were hooked with the idea of being involved with kids and trying to help education. I was lucky enough to be involved at Canadian level as a, a champion in three different sports. And I'm still playing senior softball 50 years later and 40 years after we won a Canadian championship in the city of Windsor. A jack of all trades, but master of a few, I guess. <laughs> I did give officials a hard time when I was playing, so I think that gave me a, a good perspective on officiating and uh, allowed me to uh, temper some situations that were a little more volatile than what you'd like them to be and to deal with students in an educational matter rather than a confrontational one. I had two very respectable people in both basketball and football. Uh, Jerry Phelps was getting inducted with me and uh, Jack Hool. And both of them indicated to colleagues that they would rather have Jack Schroeder referee and or officiate one of their games, even if his school was involved. If people don't see you, you're doing your job because the focus is on the two teams that are playing. Making sure that you got your nose into the rule books and understood all the nuances, but you used common sense when you were dealing with rules and applying them. You move up the ranks as part of your growth process. It's not unlike a job situation or an athletic situation where you start off at the bottom and you always have to prove yourself because you're evaluated every single game on a number of aspects. And uh, you were then able to move up. In 1984, AKO hosted the Canadian Junior Football Championship. And I was selected not just to officiate in that game, but to be the person who was in charge of the crew. And although I went on to do a number of Vanier Cups later on from Halifax all the way to Vancouver and cities in between, just because of the local flavor of it and the way the AKO put that show on really made me feel proud to be that person who was the crew chief. I've lived in Essex, Windsor, Essex, all of my life. And I know all of the people who impacted me, impacted before and are going to impact after. And to be grouped in that particular group uh, and to be given this honor is beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs>